Good morning, YouTube. Thank you for checking back in with another TDH upload. We are pulling up to Robert's Oxygen here in Jacksonville, Florida. I'm going to be picking up a uh, new welder, as you guys can see by the title, and we're going to be doing a little review on this. I've noticed that uh, there's a couple of videos up on YouTube of guys checking out the welders, but no one's actually welding with them. So let's uh, run in here and uh, pick this thing up, and then uh, we'll get back to the shop. All right, I couldn't carry it and film at the same time, but we're going to load her up to the truck and uh, get this guy hooked up and see how it welds. I'm really excited. All right, guys, opening up the box. You will first see your MIG gun here. This is their new Magna Pro MIG gun. I've kind of heard mixed uh, opinions on this guy, so we'll see how that works. Here's your adapter to convert the uh, 220, 240 to the uh, 110, 120, whatever you want to call it. We've got our gas line here. Nice gas line. Nice length. Wow, okay. Oh, excuse me. Got a ground. And then my gas line. I was like, wow, that's a really long gas line. Got that. You'll see it comes with feeder. Let's see what we got here. We've got our 045, 030, 025, and 030 with the wire cover. Obviously your instructions. And then your flow meter and regulator. And for the good stuff. Pretty light unit. I'd say it's around 40 pounds. 45 pounds. The great thing about this machine, not only can it use the smaller spools, but it also can use an 11 pound spool. So I'm very excited about that because I am sick and tired of these small little five pound spools. Cool. All right, let's get this guy assembled, get some wire in her and see how she welds. Before we go setting up the new Lincoln 211, I want to show you guys what I have been welding with. This is my Lincoln Easy MIG 140. It is totally a hobbyist machine. You guys can tell by the internals. It's got plastic internals on the drive motor there. That's a dead giveaway to show you that it's a um, hobbyist unit. And also it is uh, only 110. So that is another downfall to this machine. It does great for things like, let's say my fourth gen conversion bumper brackets or you know welding basic uh, tabs or mounts or brackets onto you know a vehicle or something. She does great for those little things when you're in your garage needing a MIG welder, exhaust, blah, 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 blah. When you come to build like stands like these, this is going to be an outboard stand for a large uh, 30 inch shaft outboard motor. So it's gonna be holding some weight. I need a welder that can penetrate and uh, that I know is going to give me a solid job when burning in this material, when I have the voltage cranked up on top of not having to deal with a duty cycle. So the duty cycle compared um, to this Lincoln 211 and the Millermatic 211 is very similar. They claim at 22 volts, this has a uh, 30 to 40% duty cycle. Um, I'll find that out because I'm gonna crank her up and use her a good bit. Other than that, guys, I did have the Millermatic 211 that you guys may have seen in some of my other videos. I was going to buy that from my old boss, the guy that I used to work for. The plans fell through. Um, obviously, all that stuff kind of came crashing down. He decided that he was gonna keep the welders and do whatever he's gonna do with them. So. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to grab that Millermatic 211, which was kind of what I was hoping for, but the price point on this Lincoln 211, the digital setup and all of this jazz, I don't know, it's hard to beat, so. All right, let me shut up. Let's get this set up and see how it works. All right, since we're gonna be welding with shielding gas, 7525, 
Miller, or excuse me, Lincoln has done a new thing here. And they have a single DENS connector. So that way you can swap your polarity, which I guess is kind of cool. I don't do too much flux core welding. Uh, when I do, it would be with a stick welder. And of course, I've got this damn thing bound on here. All right, so the DENS connector is going to go into electrode positive for the obvious reasons. Let's see. Doesn't really have much of a twisting or a locking motion to it. It's kind of weird. There we go. Maybe if I just try a little bit harder, right? Obviously this guy goes in only one way with the little tabs. Makes it fun lining it up. And there we have it. Power on. Wow, look at that nice digital display there, folks. All right, cool. So, obviously, you just have this button here. We're on 030. We're using 100, or excuse me, 7525. So, we're on MIG C25. We'll just go ahead and lower this down to eighth inch material. As you can see, as we adjust it, it's adjusting our voltage and wire settings so there we go We've got it on eighth inch I would assume that if you go up to 035 it opens up a bit more and then for 045 that can only be flux core only so they claim that it can weld up to 3 8 but it does not look like you can get there with the 035 so anyways, we'll get this set up for our current application. We're welding some eighth inch material. We'll go ahead and feed the wire through this guy. Let me show you guys real quick. Here's this heavy duty style drive unit. Here's the adapter for the larger 11 pound spools. And you guys can see it steps down for the little guys here. This is provided with the welder. So we're gonna go ahead and use this. I'm going to go ahead and feed this wire through in here, get the gas all plumbed up, and then uh, we'll start burning a couple passes in. We're all set up. I've got the machine dialed in onto the eighth inch material. Gas turned up to 30 CFH. Got some scrap material here cleaned up, ready to weld. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know I'm not one of those fancy uh, YouTube welders, so don't expect any cool arc shots, arc shots because, yeah, I'm not really good at that nor have I ever really tried. So let's see if we can zoom in on this. And hopefully, I'm not gonna be in the way too much. I'll stand off to the side and see if we can't get this thing to work all right. Let's see here. Of a post flow feature there let me check my footage real quick all right that seemed to work all right so let's make a uh, quick pass with this guy see what we can't do with it the box it welds great 
I really think those settings are, man, those are dialed. Let me pull you guys over here. That's her right out of the box. On the recommended settings that the machine gives you once you set it up, I think this machine welds great. Let's go ahead and make another pass. Let's see how it welds on the other side. I didn't clean the material on the other side. I only cleaned one side. this a little bit better and had some more material set out for myself give me one second guys okay guys I set up a little overhead uh, fillet weld here I really want to see how this machine will perform doing an overhead weld just because my easy made 140 would give me all kinds of issues with wire speed I'd have to crank up the wire speed in order to really get that material in there to fill that weld so uh, we'll see how uh, this works out for us I'm really excited to see how it's gonna be I would say for a $1,300, $1,400 welder with a name brand logo on it, I think it welds great, guys. Go ahead and pull you guys down and show you those welds. You'll see on the, uh, the right side, that was me whipping. And then on the left side here, that was me rolling some circles. So here's some whip right there. And that was some circles or some cursive E's, whatever you want to call it. I think it welds pretty damn good. Very happy. Very happy. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this quick little review. Hopefully, if uh, you guys get a hold of one of these machines, they serve you well. I'm going to get ready to go ahead and put her to work. Finishing out this uh, outboard marine engine stand. And uh, hopefully in a couple months, I can fill you guys in with some good news. That is a wrap for this video. I know there's gonna be a few features that some people aren't going to like. I know this is the very end of the video. I should have stated this earlier, but the fan does stay on all times when this machine is on, unlike the Millermatic 211. When you're welding, the fan will come on and then cool the machine down when you're done welding. And then once you're done and it's cooled, the fan shuts off and it's silent. And honestly, you forget that the welder is freaking on. So it's kind of a good thing that the fan stays on so you don't forget to turn off your machine at the end of the day because I've done that a time or two. And uh, the second thing is what Millermatic calls soft start when you hit the trigger and it slowly feeds out at first. Uh, Lincoln's got a similar style to it. I don't really like, I don't care for it or I'm not really against it, opposed to it. It works just fine. It's supposed to stop the uh, sudden like, uh, or random arcing when you're uh, making contact with your material and it, and it pops go, ta, 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 and then it starts establishing an arc it's supposed to prevent that but so far it's welded good i'm really happy with the, these overall welds that i showed you guys and hopefully in the next few months i can update you guys on how the machine is doing 
Uh, other than that, guys, I do appreciate you guys watching. If you do follow along on the channel and uh, you are a subscriber, I'm going to be updating you guys on the PSE steering box that's been in the truck for a few months now. And I'm, I've am i still yet to install my Synergy stuff. You guys can see I've got uh, my Synergy track bar right here. And then I've got the actual conversion bracket right there. So uh, I need to get those guys installed. I need to finish my headliner. I need to get my stuff for my boat. We've got a lot of work cut out for us in the next few weeks. And uh, unfortunately, some bad news. You guys are going to be seeing that when I upload that. You're not going to be too happy that uh, I've let my 240 go, but that'll be a different video, and uh, I'll fill you guys in on that one. So thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate you guys. I will see you in the next upload. Later. Always in the